everyone. I'm Jody Lynn and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorites and some that um, just have not worked out for me. If these are different and they have worked or they haven't worked for you, please let us know in the comment section below. It's always good to have lots of opinions um, so we can make our best purchasing decisions. So let's get started. there are some products that were sent to me and also products that I had purchased and some of the products that were sent to me did not work out for me. So I will talk about the fails in the end. This year I've been really focusing on my hyperpigmentation. From years of sun damage, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation that was on my forehead, that is on my forehead, um, on my chest, as well on the sides of my neck. I continue to use the Joves. I have just recently started with chemical peels as well. Um, I'm going really light on that. I'm seeing some difference, but it's definitely gonna take some time. I am now incorporating cosmetic needling and I want to infuse um, brightening ingredients in this area. I was looking for something that was just really um, affordable as well as really effective ingredients that are gonna help this area. So I got the Coste Baja. I absolutely love Coste Baja. I got the Azelic Acid 10% Serum. This is wonderful. It also has niacinamide. It has aloe. It has panthenol. So it's got those hydrators as well. And I've been cosmetic needling with this. And I've been cocktailing it actually with their L-ascorbic acid. If you are looking for an affordable L-ascorbic acid with some great ingredients, you might want to check this out. It has 15% L-ascorbic acid. It also has arbutin, which is another pigment inhibitor. It also has glycerin uh, and panthenol. Absolutely lovely. So how I've been using this, I've been using these two cocktailing them and I have been using it on my forehead cosmetic needling and what I've been using is the Dr. Pen. This is the Dr. Pen M8S. It is an upgraded version from the M8. I have never used a pen before so I can't tell you a lot about the M8. This is the first pen that I have used. They did send this to me and I have to tell you I am so far loving this. I'm going to be doing a whole video on this but you can nano needle, cosmetic needle, medical micro needle all with this pen. Um, it is cordless which I love. It's easy to use. You purchase cartridges medical grade sterile needles that are in this package. So you're going to use a cartridge and then you are going to throw these away after every use. So far I've really been loving this. So video coming soon on that. Let's talk about Platinum Skin Care. Platinum Skin Care is all about peels for your face. TCA peels, Jessner peels, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, mandelic acid, you name it, they've got it. And what I love about Platinum Skin Care is all of their products are formulated around peels. And they've got tons of videos on from what you need to do to get your face prepared for a peel, how you should start a peel. I'm, I just, I, I've been obsessed. <laughs> I have now done two chemical peels. I, and I'm not telling anyone, please, please do not go out and purchase a bunch of peels and start doing them because it takes a lot of research. It takes prepping your skin first. And for me personally, I took a whole year last year to really prep my skin to be able to tolerate a peel so I didn't have any irritations and I'm going in very conservative. So I use TCA7 and this is kind of what they look like. And I bought the 20, not using this yet. I'm not even there yet. I use the TCA7 around my eyes and the TCA13% um, on the rest of my face, only a couple of layers. So I have gone in really conservative. So far, I'm really loving the results. They have like other products that just really go really well with these. For example, their enzyme mask. I absolutely love this. It is got those enzymes to get rid of that dead skin that you get from your peel. And it has hydrating um, ingredients as well. 
other enzyme mask that I have looked at have glycolic acid and they just have all of these acids that I didn't want because I've already done all that <laughs> and I just wanted to get rid of that dead cells. This is super hydrating, does not leave your face tight. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I did uh, purchase their Dream Peel. This can accelerate your peel very quickly and it did that. You can also just use this as a peel. This is a very, very strong retinol with glycolic acid. Um, so right now I am absolutely loving Platinum Skin Care. Oh, one of my favorites is the Ren Cream Milk Cleanser. Holy cow, this is stunning. If you have sensitive skin, this is beautiful. I love the uh, texture of it. It's very creamy, it's very milky. It is also very hydrating calms, it soothes. I've been using this for probably about six weeks now. It's almost gone, but what a great cleanser to use after my TCA peel. So once your face starts to peel, it becomes really tight. It can get a little bit red and sensitive. This is what I was using. It's gentle. It helps to soothe the skin. It's brilliant. I'm absolutely obsessed with. It is the Bloom Effects. Tulip Du Sunscreen SPF of 50. This is a 100% mineral, has 12% zinc oxide. So what's interesting about them, they use a proprietary Dutch tulip complex. Um, it's supposed to be really rich in antioxidants and it's supposed to be super moisturizing, which it is, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's amazing. It makes your skin look very dewy. So if you don't want dew or glow, this is definitely not going to be for you. But wow, I just feel like it makes my skin look just radiant, like a radiant glow. I'm not sure if this will work for oily skin because it's so dewy, although it says all skin types. For dark skin, I think it's going to give you a little bit of a white cast. I think it's absolutely stunning. The other ingredients in here are super lovely. I'm just really loving this. They did send this to me. Beautiful. Another one of my favorites is the Sleep and Glow Omnia Pillow. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. I've been using it now for four months. This is the pillow that I use every night. I love it because I am a side sleeper. I know that sleeping on your back is the best thing to keep this area and your chest with the least amount of wrinkles because when you're sleeping on your side like I do, you are smushing everything into the pillow, so which can cause more wrinkles, which of course we don't want. <laughs> um, but I love this dip, and that's why I love this, because it's a dip, and when I'm sleeping, my face is not smushed, because it's this keeps it from even touching this part of the pillow. It's absolutely brilliant, and if you want to train yourself to sleep on your back, you still can do that with this pillow because there is a lot of support here that can support your neck. Something I continue to play with. Hopefully, I'll be a back sleeper someday, but in case I'm not, I don't need to worry about it. Well, this is my cello foundation. They sent me three bottles, probably because they wanted me to get the correct tint. Um, now, I'm not a full coverage foundation person. I like actually a more light to medium foundation. Um, I don't wear foundation all the time. I do wear it when I'm on camera. Studio lights just tend to bring out redness on my skin. Uh, so I do like to use um, some sort of matte foundation. Anything that is hydrating, which I prefer a hydrating um, foundation. However, it just for me personally, it doesn't look good in the studio lighting. I look like a glistening disco ball because these lights just enhance everything. But this has been wonderful. This is by my cello. This is soft matte. It's actually what I have on right now. And it is a buildable full coverage. And I think that this is lovely. I only have a one layer on because I didn't I'm just not into that really full coverage look, but I love the lightweightness of this. If you are my skin twin, as far as color goes, I mix the 102 Nude and the 104 Buff. I mix these together and got kind of like that perfect color. I think it's wonderful if you have like hyperpigmentation and you're just 
not feeling confident about it and you're trying to work on it, I feel like this can definitely help because it's going to make your skin look, you know, really lovely. It's really going to minimize that hyperpigmentation and I feel like it can definitely make you feel a bit more confident if you are not feeling confident while you're going through that transition and trying to be able to minimize your hyperpigmentation. So just a thought wanted to share that with you. Another one that I really love is by Style Edit. This is their Blonde Perfection Root Touch-Up. This is lovely. Now, the amount of root touch-ups that I have purchased over the years is crazy. I do get my hair colored. I personally love to get my hair colored. Um, around week six or seven, I'll start to get, you know, that gray in there. I have bought Clairol. I have bought several of the WOW products. Um, and all three of them are like this with this kind of brush. It does work. However, I just feel like I have to put so much on. I really need to get a lot of that powder in order for it to really cover the gray. This, stunning. This is very pigmented. The first thing that I love is I love this sponge applicator because it's large, so it's gonna cover a lot more area. This is in Blonde. You can see it, it's really, really beautiful. And you're gonna go like this, and because it's so pigmented, I have to go like that and tap a little bit of it off, and then you're gonna place it on your, the area that you need um, touched up. So this, loving. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is the Fenty Beauty. It is their body sauce. It is actually a tint, a skin tint for the body. So it's going to help give you that nice tan and glow. That is what I'm wearing right now. I'm actually really liking these a lot better than tanning drops. This I use with a mitt. It goes on. It's an instant tan. It is supposed to be water resistant. It does not get on my clothes. I just think this is really beautiful and it lasts a couple of days and you can just wash it off. I think this gives you a beautiful fake tan for the day. This is a huge bottle. I'll be able to use this <laughs> like next year. Um, it's 3.2 fluid ounces. It's stunning and I use it with a mitt. A couple of things that did not work for me. Uh, this is by Rejuvalift. They sent me this. They sent me four little vials. This is supposed to help depuff the eyes. It's one of those instant um, fixes in four minutes. It depuffs. It gets rid of your fine lines and wrinkles, and it's supposed to tighten the area. I tried this on my mom, who has advanced signs of aging. I didn't. We did not see any difference. We used it as directed. We did it a couple of times. This is the before and after for four minutes. It did not work. If you have it, you love it, let us know. A couple of other things that did not work for me. These were actually recommended by Blowout Professor, who I absolutely love. Check out his channel because I've learned so much about my hair <laughs> um, and what to do. But these are some products that he does recommend a lot on his channel. A lot of the products that I've used, I really do like, but this one didn't work for me. This is the Redken 22 Thermal Spray Hot Sets. It does work. There's no, no doubt about it. You are going to spray this on your hair before doing any heated treatments like curling irons or straighteners. This is not what you're going to use when you blow dry your hair. You're going to use this on actually, you know, uh, dry hair. This says heat protection spray and high hold. It's almost kind of like a hairspray as well. So I found it to be a little bit thick and heavy. It definitely does work, but I found it to also make my hair more dirty. And I only like to wash my hair once a week because my hair is so thick and heavy and it is really a whole process. I mean, it takes me a couple hours to do my hair. So I want to do that as, as, as least often that I can during the week. And I found that this just made my hair thick heavy and more dirty. Another one that he recommends that I didn't really care for was the Moroccan oil. So I use an oil, I live in the desert, my hair is really dry, and I can put oil on my hair every single day without it being heavy. Um, and I do need to do it every day, especially on the ends because my ends will just get, you know, like really dry. This for me was thick, it was heavy. Again, it made my hair just like dirty. And I hate this, like it's not a squeezy pump, like it's just kind of a pain in the hiney to get out, which I 
didn't like at all. So this was a no. I continue to go back to what I was using originally, which is the Paul Mitchell, their Super Skinny Serum. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a skinny serum in that, again, it doesn't weigh your hair down, it doesn't make it thick and heavy, and it does, it, it's just really uh, gives me that light weight feeling that I'm looking for in a hair serum. So this, I much prefer. All right, I hope that that helps you. So let me know if some of these worked or didn't work for you. I would love to know. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss my upcoming videos. Until next time.